The Kushites are an ethno-linguistic group primarily found in the Horn of Africa. Kushitic-speaking people include the Somali, Oromo, Afar, and Beja, among others. Genetic studies show that Kushites have a complex ancestry that includes ancient African lineages, as well as influences from early migrations out of the Near East. This mixture of indigenous East African populations with Natufians of the Near East has resulted in a distinctive Cushitic genetic profile. Traditionally, Kushites have been pastoralists, a lifestyle that has deeply influenced their culture and economy. The arid and semi-arid environments of the Horn of Africa shaped their reliance on livestock, particularly camels, cattle and goats, which are integral to their way of life. For this video, I gathered 14 academic Cushitic pastoralist samples from Kenya. With PCA-based ethnicity calculators such as G25, they resemble Horn Africans. Seven of the nine male samples carry Y lineage E and two carry Y lineage A. The most common predicted phenotypes of the 14 samples were Bantu African and Arab, although Berber, Ethiopid, and even Melanesian phenotypes were also predicted. Here is a morph of the average predicted phenotype, all of these being taken into account. The most common predicted eye color was dark brown, although five samples were also predicted to have regular brown eyes. Every sample was predicted to have black hair. The most common predicted skin color was light brown, although three samples were predicted to have dark brown skin and three samples were predicted to have olive colored skin tone. The majority of the samples were predicted to have kinky hair texture but three samples were predicted to have curly hair and one sample was predicted to have wavy hair texture. The majority of the samples were predicted to have a snub nose shape, but five samples were also predicted to have a Greek nose shape. 11 out of 14 samples were predicted to be taller than average. So the typical Kushite from Kenya is tall, has light brown skin, snub-shaped nose, kinky black hair, and dark brown eyes. The Kushites were predisposed to warrior phenotype based on genotypes in Comb, MAOA, and MAOB, which shows a predisposition to higher levels of dopamine and lower stress tolerance. The Kushites were predisposed to a higher availability of D2 receptor sites, which predisposes them to schizophrenia. They had a moderately high predisposition to bipolar type 1, which is a condition closely related to schizophrenia. The Kushites had an average predisposition to autism, and none of them were predicted to be lactase persistent. The Kushites had a predisposition to an average level of empathy based on OXTR genotypes. The Kushites had lower odds of cardiovascular issues. The Kushites were quite athletic. The sprinter allele in ACTN3 was very common among them, about as common as it is in Sub-Saharan Africans, who have the highest frequency of the sprinter allele. The Kushites had high predisposition to epithelial cancers and average predisposition to autoimmune diseases based on HLA genotypes. The Kushites had some predispositions that are common for Africans, such as the predisposition to epilepsy, but they also had unique predispositions that are local. Two of the 14 samples carried risk variants for beta thalassemia. The Kushites had a predisposition to hemoglobin E disease and type 2 diabetes, which is known to be common in African Americans, a population very tangentially related to the Kushites. The Kushites had an average level of LDL cholesterol and most of them had higher levels of glucose, which is a bad predisposition. The Kushites mostly had lower odds of syncope. The Kushites were predisposed to longer telomere lengths, which reflects a predisposition to a longer biological lifespan, which is good. The most common blood type among the Kushites observed was O, although blood type A and B was also observed. None of the 14 samples scored blood type AB. For links to research data relevant to this video, including raw data download links and trade predictor purchase links, check out the description of this video. Don't forget to leave a like and share. Goodbye.